My name is Gary Stelmack, and I'm a game designer at Red Storm Entertainment. On Ghost Recon 2, I'm primarily working as the lead multiplayer designer, but I've also helped with some of the single-player scripting. Ghost Village is a nice little Asian village that you'll be able to play in. It's been abandoned for a little bit, so it's got some really neat effects with some water on the ground that's producing some great reflections. You also have a pretty good blend of some areas that are kind of open, but for the most part, it's a pretty CQB area, which is the close quarters battle. So you'll be coming right up on your enemies just as they're coming right up on you, and it makes for some really exciting firefights. The training grounds is going to be familiar to those people who've played the single player training level. It's kind of wide open spaces in the middle with some good dense coverage around the end, makes for some really exciting multiplayer gameplay. The War Zone is a multiplayer variant of the Destroyed City mission that you'll be seeing uh, in the single player version of the game. We've kind of opened it up a bit and the close quarters kind of city fighting that you'll be doing within there adds for a really neat element on top of a very pretty level. The Bunkers mission has a name that some people might find familiar. It's kind of our homage to the Rogue Spear Bunkers level. We've got kind of a good blend of both sniping fire uh, up above and some good tight CQB combat in the middle of the map. And we hope it'll be a lot of fun for the players out there. The Ancient Ruins is a map that we kind of specifically designed for the domination mode of play. So you'll see a bunch of very specific areas set up around the maps that make good solid bases. And that map really allows for some good kind of maneuver space throughout it. So players can either rush up to their objective or they can kind of maneuver around and develop some teamwork on it. Lost Convoy pits one group kind of up in a mountainous terrain against a group down in the swampy terrain, and it's a really nice kind of contrast in the terrain areas that you'll be seeing. Uh, players will be able to experience some wide open spaces along with once again some tighter CQB areas down in the swamp, and it's kind of a really different environment with a really great look for Ghost Recon 2. Our sand mine level is a series of sand dunes that you're taking place in, an uh, area that they've been actually pulling up and mining sand in. So you've got a lot of really rough terrain in there with some pretty steep angles on those actual sand dunes and some heavy equipment that you'll be able to fight in and around. I hope you enjoyed this preview of the Ghost Recon 2 multiplayer levels. Look for the game in local stores this holiday season 2004.